It's just a cycle of rubbish, and they replace rubbish with more rubbish. Well, it's an absolute disgrace. It's just such a nightmare. The policy decisions that she made, you know, none of the British people asked for any of those. We have an unelected head of state, now we have an unelected government. Um, that's not democracy, is it? Things were in such a state of chaos. Can't keep up with it for one minute. Where, oh where to start on the big news out of the UK? Let us begin with the vegetable victor. The British Daily Star tabloid's viral stunt cheekily asked, can British PM Liz Truss outlast a lettuce? It took less than a week to get the answer. I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. She will remain Prime Minister, she says, until her replacement is picked days from now. On Thursday, the paper, by the way, declaring a glorious victory for the Daily Star's lettuce. Absolutely extraordinary to have a Prime Minister out uh, within two months. There's nothing like it to compare with that in, 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 in the last 300 years. Tough to put a positive spinach on this one. Truss's tenure as PM is well, the shortest in the country's history. And it took just some 45 days under her leadership to see markets tank, the pound plunge, and support for her Conservative Party wilt. So who could take over? A well, key cabinet ministers, saving, possibly? You know or even, as Reuters senior British correspondent Andrew McCaskill explains, there's a chance it could be former PM Boris Johnson, who had his own messy exit from the job just last month. Boris still has uh, massive support among the party membership. He's a very divisive character now within the Conservative Party. There's a large number of MPs who, who wouldn't want him to return. And uh, overhanging all of that is the fact that he is still facing uh, an inquiry about whether he misled Parliament. Because the Conservatives hold a big majority in Parliament, they don't need to call a nationwide election for another two years. So it's up to the party to fill the seat. Whoever is chosen will become the third British Prime Minister in just eight weeks. That means the UK once again is gearing up to turn over a new leaf. Melissa Duggan, City News.